here we are in the Lit Ag Centre. This is the nerve centre of the Frankfurt Book Fair. This is where all the business is being written and all the deals are being done over the next couple of days. I'm here with Carol Blake from Blake Friedman, who's one of the uh, leading British literary agents. How's things going for you today? Rather spectacularly, I'm pleased to say. It, it, it goes well if it goes fast. It's gone very fast and we've done lots of deals. No complaints. Now, I, I hear numbers of agents are actually slightly up this year in, in, in this centre. What are you hearing, what are the kind of things that people are talking about? Is, is digital, for example, a big deal this year or is it more traditional deals? Both. One isn't replacing another, they're side by side. Right. But I never get a chance to talk to my colleagues, I only get a chance to talk to the foreign publishers who come and sit down opposite me. Right. So every 30 minutes there's a different person and I speak to them. Any new markets that are sounding interesting to you? People who are coming from places that maybe you haven't met before? No, on the, I don't think there's any more countries being discovered, mm -hmm. but I think that we meet a lot of the same people. We meet new people from the emerging markets. We meet new publishers who change jobs, mm. publishers who sell and buy each other. So, you know, you get a few surprises, but not that many. And how many appointments do you reckon you'll have completed by the end of this fair? I do 18 a day. I then do a couple of parties every night, then do a dinner. And then I get up and do the same thing again, so I can't do the maths. <laughs> and we will have been here a week. We come three days before the fair begins. So you're going to earn your rest in, your sleep in on Monday morning? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Carol, thanks very much. Pleasure. <laughs> now we'll go upstairs to 6.1. So while people like Carol Blake are having back-to-back -back meetings for five or six days in a row, one of the actually, I think there's an opportunity that maybe people don't explore enough of Frankfurt, and that is the opportunity to actually walk the aisles and see books you wouldn't otherwise find. Here we are in Hall 6.1. These are some of the French publishers, and as you can see, there's some fantastic books on display, which you would only see if you took the time to have a wander around. Let's go and have a look. Great French publisher here. Bayard, fantastic list. Act Sud. Wonderful French literary publisher, which also has an excellent children's list. And Serendipity is all about turning a corner and finding something completely unexpected. In this case, here we are, we've just found Singapore. And if we turn around the corner, you don't have to fly all the way to Beijing to find a panda. Here we are in the Chinese hand. Hi. I'm going to keep wandering. Cheers. There's now past five o'clock on the Thursday at Frankfurt Book Fair and the meetings are coming to an end and it's time to gather around a stand and actually meet with some friends and have a few drinks. Here we are on the Norwegian stand. In my background now is the guest of honour, Iceland. And now we're going to have a few drinks with some friends and make some new friends. Hope you enjoyed today's report. This is Andrew Wilkins from Publishing Perspectives here at Frankfurt Book Fair. <laughs>